Hello, and welcome to this video about Silicon Valley Bank and the impact it has on startups. Silicon Valley Bank is a financial institution that focuses on providing banking services to the innovation and technology industries. In this video, we will explore the role of Silicon Valley Bank in the startup ecosystem and how it helps entrepreneurs to bring their ideas to life. But before we continue, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for more amazing videos. What is Silicon Valley Bank? Silicon Valley Bank was founded in 1983 and is headquartered in Santa Clara, California. The bank's mission is to support the innovation economy and help entrepreneurs and investors succeed. It provides a range of financial services, including business banking, commercial lending, and investment management, to startups, venture capital firms, and private equity firms. How does Silicon Valley Bank help startups? Silicon Valley Bank has a deep understanding of the needs of startups and the challenges they face. It offers a range of financial solutions tailored to the unique needs of startups, such as debt financing, equity financing, and cash management services. The bank also provides valuable resources and expertise to help startups navigate the complex landscape of building a successful company. The Impact of Silicon Valley Bank on Startup Silicon Valley Bank has played a significant role in the growth and success of many startups. By providing access to capital, expert advice, and a supportive community, the bank has helped countless entrepreneurs to turn their ideas into thriving businesses. In addition, Silicon Valley Bank has been a pioneer in creating a strong startup ecosystem by hosting events, providing mentorship programs, and connecting entrepreneurs with investors and other key players in the industry. What happened to the bank and how it collapsed? Silicon Valley Bank provided banking services to nearly half the country's venture capital-backed technology and like science companies, according to its website, and to more than 2,500 venture capital firms. For decades, Silicon Valley Bank, flush with cash from high-flying startups, did what most of its rivals do. It kept a small chunk of its deposits in cash, and it used the rest to buy long-term debt like treasury bonds. Those investments promised steady, modest returns when interest rates remained low. But they were, it turned out, short-sighted. The bank hadn't considered what was happening in the broader economy, which was overheated after more than a year of pandemic stimulus. This meant that Silicon Valley Bank was left in the lurch when the Federal Reserve, looking to combat rapid inflation, started raising interest rates. Those once safe investments looked a lot less attractive as newer government bonds kicked off more interest. But not all of Silicon Valley Bank's problems are linked to rising interest rates. The bank was unique in ways that contributed to its rapid demise. Because the bank's business was concentrated in the tech industry, Silicon Valley Bank started to see trouble when startup funding began to dwindle, leading its clients, a mixture of technology startups and their executives, to tap their accounts more. The bank also had a significant number of big uninsured depositors, the kind of investors who tend to withdraw their money during signs of turbulence. To fulfill its customers' requests, the bank had to sell some of its investments at a steep discount. The Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation announced on Friday that it would take over the 40-year-old institution after the bank and its financial advisors had tried and failed to find a buyer to step in. The takeover put about $175 billion in customer deposits under the control of the federal regulator. What startups were impacted? Any bank collapse can cause jitters in an economy or industry, but Silicon Valley Bank's dramatic fall in just a handful of days likely will leave a lasting impact on the tech and startup ecosystem it tried so hard to foster. SVB was the dominant bank for tech startups and venture debt in the US, cultivating a reputation for close-knit relationships with the power brokers of venture and taking chances on young startups that most banks wouldn't have the time of day for. It provided banking services for up-and-coming tech companies, such as Cisco Systems and Bay Networks. Now, after 40 years, startups will have to look somewhere else for their financial needs, if such a place exists. What's next? Now the question is who will replace SVB in the venture debt ecosystem? Zach Ellison, founder of Applied Real Intelligence's Venture Debt Opportunity Fund, said he expects non-bank lenders to step into the lending space in general which happened after the financial crisis of 2008 with firms like Apollo Management and Blackstone. Other banks, such as Jeep Morgan, Citi, or Wells Fargo, have shown increasing interest in venture and mezzanine debt. 
but cannot do it the same way SVB was able to do their size. Impact to Gaming After Silicon Valley Bank's collapse, the U.S. government will pay the notorious gaming company around $150 million from its own funds to compensate it for its losses. Estimated to have reserves worth around $3 billion, Roblox held about $150 million at Silicon Valley Bank, around 5% of its total cash and securities, according to an SEC filing, which was quoted in a Kotaka report about the matter. Roblox, of course, wouldn't have gotten into trouble from this incident anyways, as the SEC also concluded, regardless of the ultimate outcome and the timing, this situation will have no impact on the day-to-day -day operations of the company. Predominantly played by children, Roblox is one of the biggest video games in the world. It's a sandbox platform, allowing users to create their own custom games and monetize them. While that is a successful business model, Roblox has been accused of benefiting from child labor because of it. The company's content moderation, or lack thereof, is another aspect that's been under fire repeatedly. Nevertheless, it has managed to close partnerships with huge names like the NFL and NASCAR. Thanks for watching, that's all for today's video.